So this is uh, one school of Qigong, uh, and they probably have some details that I don't know about, but um, raising the arms up to the shoulders and letting them drop. Feet about hip width apart, bending your knees a little bit as though you're sitting. Okay, and we're also using this as our rest pose when we need to uh, relax between movements. So let's go ahead and uh, get started rubbing the hands together. And then first finger either side of the nose, up and down. Upper lip back and forth. Important point in acupuncture, somebody faints, you can put a needle in here and they wake up. So this is a wake up point. Also, if you have a cramp in your leg, you can pinch your upper lip here and it goes away. Not bad. <laughs> I use that. Okay, and then one finger behind the ears, three in front, up and down. If you feel like sighing or yawning, you can sigh or yawn. A few arm circles. I had a girlfriend one time who was a dental hygienist. She said, you only have to floss the teeth you want to save. So this is the same with your arm. You only need to use the arm you want to keep. And a lot of times people, by the time they get old, their arm only goes up to here. And instead of going up here. So if you, if you want to have an arm that you can still use as time goes on, then you need to uh, use it. We're going in the other direction now. <clears throat> okay, finishing up and then both hands coming up to the shoulders, tapping, patting up the back of the neck, back of the head, up to the top of the head and back down. coming to a finish. Patting down the outside of the legs, up the inside. And coming to a finish. Raising one arm, palm down, tap down the outside of the arm. Turn the palm up and tap up the inside. Yang meridians down the outside, yin meridians go up the inside, both the arms and legs, so we're patting along the energy channels. And coming to a finish, the other arm. You know, uh, nowadays, it all used to just be Qigong. Nowadays, it's sensory, somatic experiencing and different things, and you, you're encouraged to tap yourself. Good morning. Nice to be with you again. Thank you for being here with me. You know, your arms and legs, and you remind yourself that this is your body, you live here. So it used to just be Qigong. Pound the chi in. <laughs> Wake up. <laughs> But uh, you can either be waking up or just reminding yourself that here you are. 
Okay, and we're moving on now to the uh, four ways the dragon moves its head. It's suggested that you have your hands on your hips. And then uh, the first movement is rotation, turning to look to one side, coming back to the middle, turning to look to the other side. More emphasis on receiving your experience rather than giving out directives. Slow, easy feeling. Easy in the beginning, easy in the middle, easy at the end. Eyes and head moving together. Okay, and coming back to the middle. We're looking up and then looking up, looking down. People who have studied yoga remind you to lengthen up and then back rather than just tilting your head back. It's better on your neck. And as you, as you know from Yesterday, I've added an arm movement for this. Reaching up as you look up and then down, palms back. Inhaling up, exhaling down. Okay, and finishing up. Okay, and then the third way the dragon moves its head, side bending. Tilting your head to one side, coming back up to the middle, tilting to the other side. We have habitual ways to hold our head and neck, and these simple movements remind your body and remind you that you have freedom and choice where to position your head and neck. And there's not just one way to have it. We're actually, one of the things we're studying is actually how you know, most experiences are also your behavior. So if you behave differently, if you have your head and neck in a different position, your experience is different. So this reminds your head and neck that there's freedom and you can look at things from different places, listen to things differently, and so on. Coming back to the middle, the fourth way the dragon moves its head is the circles. We'll continue around in one direction for a little bit. Feeling your way along. Feeling your way into places you may not have been for a while. And coming to a pause somewhere, we'll go in the other direction. and coming to a finish. And bringing your head back to the middle, we're going to do the form of the rainbow pose next, so feet a little wider apart. <clears throat> a palm up, rotate your whole body, 
uh, to look back at the hand in the back and then bringing it up over your head, across and down, reaching back with the palm on that side, up over your head and across and down. Okay, and one more on each side. I don't think we've done uh, delivering pizza for a while, so why don't we add that to the what we were just doing? It's similar. So remember, the, the, you keep your palm up as much as possible so as you don't spill the pizza. Arm out, uh, over here, out around over your head, and down. Deliver. Other arm. I'm going to turn around in a moment. But I think most of you have this. Okay, one more on either side. Okay, finishing up. Feet uh, back to hip width apart, and then inhaling, back of the palms face, inhaling, shoulders forward, up, exhaling, dropping them back. You can do these very fast, or you can do them more slowly. Some people like to do them quickly, it's energizing. When you do them more slowly, you can more carefully move your shoulders into places that they wouldn't get to otherwise. Okay, and then inhaling, shoulders back, up, exhaling down. Last one. Okay, feet a little wider apart again. And we're swinging the arms. One hand comes up, a good pat on the shoulder here. Or colloquially, a pat on the back. This is a muscle that gets very tight oftentimes. Some people suggest the shoulders are about trust. If you can trust the world, you relax your shoulders. Otherwise, you tighten them to protect yourself, especially against the judgments that are going on, which, of course, mostly turn out to be your judgments. One of my teachers said, it's not true. We only use 5% of our mental capacity. We use 95% to restrain the other 5%. <laughs> or something like that. <laughs> so lower hand comes somewhere in the back, upper hand the shoulder. And then we're continuing with the fist to the corner of the chest. Okay, and then we're going to be tapping down the abdomen, right to left, left to right, starting at the diaphragm, and down the abdomen. 
starting at the diaphragm and down the abdomen, crossing over the midline, right to left, left to right. Again, nowadays this is known as, you know, this is a therapy, cross crawl. You touch uh, the right side of your body to the left somewhere and the left side to the right. Integrating the two sides of the consciousness, right and left. All right, finishing up, and then flat hand. Uh, I like to do it right down the middle to start with, switching the hands. Again, the abdomen, emphasizing the abdomen, starting at the diaphragm and down. And then right on right, left on left, starting at the diaphragm, down the abdomen. Taking the hands wider apart, wider apart, out towards the sides, further out to the sides, and all the way out to the sides. Okay, finishing up. So, uh, metal people sometimes are brilliant and full of it. Have you noticed that? Brilliant and full of it. <laughs> and you never quite know. Is he being brilliant or is he just full of it? <laughs> but anyway, this, this down the abdomen, it helps it to eliminate. <laughs> you know? so, you don't, so you don't stay too full of it. You, you know, get some movement in the abdomen and you can release some things. Okay, and then the upper part of the side, patting down, raising one arm and starting at the armpit down the side. And the other arm. Coming to a finish. And then uh, we're swinging the arms with the leg kick, so the foot goes in one direction, the arms are going in the other. We're getting this twist in the abdomen here. Come into a pause, and we'll do the other foot. Easy in the beginning, easy in the middle, easy at the end. No pain, no pain. And come into a finish. Okay, and then raising the arms as you inhale, exhale, turn one foot out 90 degrees. Rotate, look at the palm in the back, palm up and back. Exhale, all the residual air. And then inhaling forward, feet forward, exhaling to the other side, foot out 90 degrees. Exhaling, exhaling, exhaling until you can't exhale anymore. Inhaling forward and at your own speed. Okay, one more. Inhaling forward and the hands float down, feet forward. Okay, and now an even fuller uh, flexion extension. So inhaling, palms up overhead. Exhaling, arms out to the side and down. As you come into a forward bend, you're welcome to bend your knees. We're not doing yoga here, we're doing Qigong. (sighs) 
Okay, and one more. And then coming up, bringing the palms together, drawing the energy from above down into your core. Raise your hands, come in front of you, energy coming into the crown of the head, down through your face, neck, shoulders, chest, heart, abdomen, pelvis, legs, and on down into the earth. Okay, and then side bending. One hand across with the palm up, one hand overhead, palm down. Inhaling, exhaling in the direction of your upper arm. Side bending, this time the whole side, not just the head, as we did earlier. Okay, and coming to a finish. And both hands down. Okay, moving on to the hips. So with your hands on your hips, we're taking the moving the hips in big circles. Say taking the hips around town. We spend a, you know, a lot of uh, time telling our body what to do, what we'd like it to do. So in its simple way, this Qigong is listening to your body. So as you ask your hips to move around, then you can listen to how they feel today. How are your hips today? Come into a pause and we'll go in the other direction. So it's, a, it's like a over, uh, all over the body. Good morning, how are you? Nice to see you again. Okay, and coming to a finish somewhere. I need a couple more times. <laughs> okay. Okay, and then we're doing the uh, bending one leg and the other leg so that the pelvis goes back and forth from side to side. I learned this from my friend in Vienna, who was who had a Qigong master a block or two away, who this was their school, and doing all the other movements with their arms while they all the time doing their hips side to side. So you do this for 45 minutes or so, and you feel really loose and limber and full of uh, good energy. We lock up a lot of energy generally in our pelvis. <clears throat> Okay, and coming to a finish. Standing on one foot, raising the other. We'll do some circles. Coming to a pause, we'll go in the other direction. And then the other foot. <clears throat> okay, 
this is an especially good time to send energy down your standing foot to stabilize you. Pausing the other direction. Okay. <clears throat> so top to bottom, we've finished that sequence. And then we're going to go into our closing sequence, rubbing the hands together. Washing the face, starting the forehead, down the cheeks. As one of my instructors said, it's important to have a positive intention so you can visualize your beautiful skin. All right, just simply think of the light inside, good spirit inside coming to the surface to meet the hands. And if you want, every so often you pause and go more slowly around the corners of the jaw and just under the chin there. And if you notice any place that seems to, you know, feel needed, you can massage. I like here and sometimes here by the side of the ears. Okay, finishing up. And then straight back, combing the hair. And then I like massaging the base of the occiput in the back. Windows to heaven. Place that often gets short, the back of the occiput here. So several times combing the hair and then massaging the base of the occiput one hand and then the other hand on the other side. And then combing the hair on the sides and again massaging down the back of the neck. I don't know what they do in, you know, real Qigong. This is, uh, because this is my school, I just made this up, massaging the base of the neck. <laughs> but it works for me, you know, it seems very helpful because, you know, our neck often gets shorter. And, uh, you know, we're seeing if we can fill our space and not uh, shrink. And that's an important spot where we often shrink in the back of the neck. Okay, and then massaging the ears, thumb behind, first finger in front, pinching down the ears. And then base of the neck, the big bones there, cervical seven, thoracic one. Okay, coming to a finish and then massaging the kidneys in the back. Well, that's where they are, of course, in the back. Massaging the kidneys, lower ribs in the back. Both the material and energetic basis of the body in Chinese medicine. The source of the yin, ancestral chi, and the source of the young. Okay, coming to a finish. Patting in front, diaphragm area, right and left. Brushing, brushing the chi in all over, down the shoulder and arms. Brushing the front, the upper sides, abdomen, sides, lower, lower back, buttocks, 
and come into a forward bend, brushing down the back of the leg, the outside, the inside of the leg. Bending your knees as much as you need to so you can hang down easily. Letting go of the back of your neck, letting go of your arms and hands, letting anything heavy drain into the ground. Out your legs and feet, out your arms and hands, out your head and neck. If you have trouble letting go, ask the earth for help. It loves what is heavy. Okay, and then bending the knees a little more, leaving your head hanging, lifting up. Pelvis coming into position, lower back, middle back, upper back, and finally your head comes up. We're standing quietly now, feet about hip width apart, eyes closed, arms hanging loosely at your sides. Noticing what you feel. How your body feels. Often your body will feel much more spacious. Much more permeable, as though the world could flow through you. Not only as though the world could, but as though the world was flowing through you. As though your body was a part of the body of the world. Sounds, um, sounds sometimes feeling like they're from inside. Okay, you're coming to a finish. Open your eyes. Thank you very much. So, um, we're headed for the Zendo for a period of meditation. Thank you. <clears throat> this all took a little longer uh, this morning, so we're going to do our gathering energy later in the morning. All right. Thank you. <clears throat> <laughs>